Hey everybody, I've got another TN set up today. I'm really excited to finally be setting up my B6. I have been using it a bit um, while well, I waited for a few things to come. Uh, but this TN is from the GP Studio August. Yes, August, yeah, the most recent. Uh, August box. And it's a beautiful four strap TN floral print. I'm not like as into florals a lot of the time. But this one's quite big and graphic, and I love the colors in it, so I'm like, we'll keep it. We'll go for it, because I've been wanting to try a B6. So, um, I have a bunch of stuff from that kit. I pulled out the pieces that I wanted to use, as well as some stuff that I've ordered to supplement with that. So, yeah, we're going to get started. I already have my inserts in there, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, but they are all... One of these is from the kit itself, so it's already like lovely. And then uh, these other three are from the Punk Planner, so that's that. And then let us see. So right off the bat, um, I have my Foxy Fix uh, B6 inserts here. I like to put these on the outside, so I think I actually might swap this dot grid for... Um, it doesn't really matter, but any any of the other ones, just because, whoops, um, just because this one's already quite um, decorated, you know, in line with the theme of the kit, so it's, uh, I can just maybe put a little, maybe just like a little, like, acetate over it or something and just leave it as that. So, let's start from the front, why don't we? So... I like to put my favorite paper in the front, which I want to do a foiled, and there's only one foiled paper? That can't be true. Ah, yes, there's no, okay, but this is my favorite foiled one probably, because it's like the most interesting one. It's got the watercolor, and I actually like the other side as well, so I think I might make a full dashboard out of this paper, and just use these as the insides. So let me measure that out. Okay, so I think I've got these to the right size, so they're going to be like this. So let me see what goodies I've got here. So I've got my, my quote cards and my um, die cuts here, the ones that I picked out that I liked. I liked a lot of the quote cards uh, especially. So I'm going to leave that for now. I think this is perfect for a quote. Um, oh, I, yeah, I really, I really love this quote. I think that's really nice. So I'm going to take, where's my glue runner? Here we go. I'm going to take this one. Great. Just center that. And then maybe we can do some die cuts on this one. Um, I really like this one. Do you want to angle it or we can like angle it there. Then I was thinking maybe pulling in like a little bit of Simply Gilded Bow Washi. I like to do this look sometimes where it's like a little cut off or like where I, maybe I'll do this one. Maybe I'll just kind of rip this and like. Kind of hold the die cut on like that. Do I like that? Mm, I'm actually not sure. I'm going to like keep this to the side and think about that. Um, so maybe I'll leave this like this for now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so they're kind of hard to get in because I want them to be. So I might like leave them like that for now while I'm still thinking about it. So those are going to go around this. And do it. I guess I'll just leave the marble. I mean, marble's like neutral enough that I can just leave that, I think. So, yeah, I do really like this. And then around this one, I think I'm just going to put um, some of this vellum, which I think actually layered with the marble. Oh, yeah, that looks really cool layered with the marble. So I will leave that. Okay, that is absolutely lovely. 
the marble just gives it like a little something something extra and that is super gorgeous so let's go ahead and put this uh, back in here and then we can clip the vellum on I actually have I have a dangle clip that I, I want to use so maybe I'll use that here Ooh, that's so cool this is from oh my goodness I couldn't remember my last setup either what the name of this shop is oh my gosh oh it's pink something boutique I think is it pink paper boutique it's something like that um but I'll put it in the description below I'll look it up um but it's a beautiful dangle clip so I will use that to clip on this film I think and then I have these gold teardrop clips um pretty sure I snagged these from the punk planner as well so I'll use that to clip on the vellum on this uh, on the other side and there we go that inserts done easy as you like and then this one again I think like it's you know pretty much a done deal so I, I was thinking of maybe using the acetate but that's actually kind of like a lot so maybe that's even too much I don't know I'll think about it but then the back insert I want to use this other paper that I like um, and I was thinking of actually keep to keep like the florals to a minimum of using making this the double sides um, so using like this cutting two of these foil and two of this just to cut out the two pink floral patterns that aren't as much my fave I think that's what I will do so I'm just gonna cut these to size using one of my ones I've already cut Alrighty, let's see here. So, okay, I can put this back over here. Me like that. And then, I did not mean to do that. Oh, baby. How did I even, how did I get one dashboard going this way and one going this way? I am now just noticing. Oh, well, it's fine. At least the pattern looks good both ways. That's probably why I didn't notice. Don't really know how I did that and had enough paper, but okay. <laughs> eh, it's not the end of the world. Both the patterns were so abstract I did not even notice, but okay. Anyways, so this is for the back dashboard. So back here, we're going to do the foil on the outside and these on the inside. So, okay. So yeah, I just like the, um, these patterns better. So then let's get back in here. So... Okay, so we've got lots of quotes. I really like these quotes. I definitely want to use some more. Um, I really like this one. I really like this one. I think maybe here I'll take this. And... And I think this might be where that Simply Gilded Washi comes in handy. Yeah, I think it looks better on the edge of a quote card. And then I'll leave that for now on the, this will be the back of the planner. So can definitely put a little something there. I like this. Yeah, maybe this. Die cut. Cool. So this would be like the back and then this would be the inside of that. So maybe some more die cuts or something. Is like two quotes too much on the inside of this? Probably. It probably is too much. So <laughs> I do have like two more quotes that I want to use now. So I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. I've also done this before where I clip a quote onto there. So that's an option for sure. But yeah, let's focus on this dash. Um, I think, I think this mirror, this mirror is a cool one. And then I could do something up here. Maybe more simply gilded, because I like this look too that I do sometimes where 
I cut sort of like divide oops sort of divide the um the dashboard like with washi uh, I don't know the background's like a little bit busy though to do that here I think because you can see it through the white washi so maybe not that actually maybe just some as simple as a die cut in the corner Um, I also have the planner section, like I have the die cut of this planner. Um, I want to use something, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to think about it a little bit more and then, oops, that's not right. What's the, oh, it's over here. Um, and then on the other side of this, which will be this paper here, I definitely could just do a little die cut in the corner again. Yeah, maybe I'll just do a little bit, a little die cut in the corner to not like, you know, just to not cover too much foil, but to add a little something, something. Okay, pretty simple so far, but I like it. Um, and this would be like in here. Okay. Okay. Hmm. We're, we're making, making some progress. I think maybe just a small die cut here would be appropriate. I like this one. Yeah, I think that's nice there. So just a little die cut just to make this um, front dash like a little bit more interesting, but not cover up the foil too much. And I think we're good there. And then on this side, I don't think I necessarily want to add anything. I think just the quote is enough. Um, maybe I'll see if washi would look good here. Would some bows look good here? I think maybe here. Yeah, just a little, just a little foil on this bit. Uh, where are my scissors? Oh no, I don't see them. Oh, I found them. Here we go. So okay, so I need to trim and there. I think that's enough. It, I, it doesn't need to be symmetrical. Sometimes I like to play with the asymmetrical look. So let's pop that half in. There we go. Oh, it's kind of short. How did that happen? Are they all going to be short now? Or is this... Oh, they're all going to be short. Oh, goodness gracious. How am I always messing that up? I was like, I swear it was like I couldn't even get it in. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, I can't do anything about it now, so it's just going to be a little bit short. Get past that and look at what we want to do with this dash. I feel like I want to add something more to it. I'm not quite sure what. Okay, I have one idea. I have these stickers from JD's Crafts. They're gold hearts, gold foil hearts, and I use them to, um, I use them in my Erin Condren to, um, in, in the notes pages uh, as like little bullet points. But I feel like they could be cute here and maybe just like a little bit, I don't know, just like a few around the edge of the book there. Yeah, just to add like a little foil. That's very cute. Awesome. I like that getting creative and then on the back here do I want to add maybe even another quote or anything and just another die cut maybe maybe just another die cut just again so it's not like completely plain so that there's just a little something something there okay very cool I like that a lot actually so let's get this this dashboard in here and I think we're good there they're a little bit long and a little bit short and I honestly don't know how I did that um, but it's all good yeah it's okay honestly like these foxy fix dashboards are even a little bit too big for these inserts so I thought these inserts were big when I got them they're more the right size for the ones that came with the GP Sticker Studio kit, which is it's kind of annoying that um, the size can vary so wildly. I've usually had much more consistency with the sizing um, in TNs. 
So yeah, it's a little annoying, but we're gonna get over it. Um, I mean, could I trim this edge of the insert if I wanted, really wanted to? Yeah, I definitely could. Am I gonna do that? Absolutely not. So there we go. That's looking good so far, I think. Yeah, that's really nice. I love this dashboard. Um, and I'm gonna leave that marble cover for now. Um, especially since I incorporated the marble here. Oops, my dangle, my dangle clip came off. Um, especially since I incorporate the marble as the background here. So yeah, this one's all set. I think I literally don't have to do anything to this one. Like just leave it, you know, just leave it there. It's already decorated. And then this one, I think this one could use a little more decoration. I do want to use this acetate, especially since, you know, I already have it. So maybe this acetate could go, um, around this last marble dashboard just like oh yeah that looks really nice just as like just like I used the vellum um okay so I just cut this wrong again I just like I'm so bad at this like seriously I suck at this and I cut it the wrong how did I do that oh I was supposed to cut this measurement this way okay and then uh, okay. Okay, no, we're going to make this work because I am going to use this vellum, this acetate, because I'm, I'm not going to waste it. We're going to make it work. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make it work. So, okay, what was I supposed to have done? I'm supposed to do this measurement this way. Okay, so after my goof, what I did was I just cut it down to size as if it were so one piece, and then I mended it with this beautiful foiled washi from Archive Stationery. And you know what? It looks pretty cool. And like the fact that it's flowers and the gold foil match this spread, so it's a good washi to pull in. And like, that looks nice. Like it almost looks like it's on purpose. Like it's like a spine or something. So you know what? We're embracing it and we're going to go for it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to put this, this, uh, acetate in here. We are going to clip it on. I think I'm going to take a wide clip. This is from, oh, petite pink boutique. I think that's what it's called. I think I finally remembered what it's called. We're going to clip that with a nice wide clip there. Clip it with a teardrop up here. That doesn't look so bad. Yeah, that's actually kind of cool. Anyways, now we are just trying to finish, finish this up here. So I think that's definitely, I feel like I've got this side pretty well done. It's like, it's really difficult and it's like not exactly perfect, um, perfectly cut, which, you know, it never is with me because I am, I suck at cutting. Um, but I think that's good enough. And then let's see, I still have a couple die cuts and, and quote cards that I, I do want to use. I mean, I could always put something on here. Hmm. Just thinking this, um, backing from the die cuts is pretty um, pretty neutral, but I think could just add a little visual interest to maybe like a pocket here. So maybe like that. Yeah, that works. This is always the portion of the setup where it's like, look at what you already have and, um, <laughs> and use that. I also have these sticky notes. I love having sticky notes in my planner. I find it really functional. I just did a pen test on that one. So I'll just remove that. Um, and I, I usually end up putting them in the back. So maybe I'll take another wide clip here. Um, and I did this in my last setup in my rings and I thought it was a really good idea. So I kind of lift the notes up, the sticky notes up and I clip them to the back pockets just by their backing card. And that is pretty, pretty sturdy there. So awesome. So I got my sticky notes. 
What else do I want to incorporate? I've got my charms here ready to go. I've got a lot more clips. Um, hmm. Oh, this is like this, yeah. Okay. Eh, I like that. It looks like I just I'm in love with this with this die cut. Um so I would like to use it. Um could be there. I think that looks really, I like how this, this was what, what this dashboard feels really well balanced in the front. So I don't think I want to add anything there. Um, no, I don't, I don't really want to add anything to this one unless it's a, maybe a quote. Yeah, meh. Um, could definitely add a quote here. Done that before. Yeah, that could be, that could work. So I've got like a quote in there. A little more interest for the front. And then, Maybe I'll switch this, um, just redo the glue on the back, switch this one up here. Cause sometimes I like to think about like what the die cut is, you know, and like a mirror could be up on a wall. It's probably kind of silly, but sometimes it's like, if it's like a chair, you know, I don't want to put it up here cause then it's weird. Cause it's like, that's, it's just floating. And then I could put a quote or I could just put another die cut. I think I think I like I really want to use this like um planterception um where I put the die cut of the planner in the planner I really like that I think it's funny um but then I'm left with another quote one more quote and one more die cut that I really love um but I'm just I don't know where to put I mean that could definitely go there uh I mean, I could put a die cut on the vellum. I just don't usually like to do that. Uh, I just feel like this one is like, it just looks so nice already. So I don't really want to mess with it. Mm. I could put that there. What do I think? Hmm. Maybe I'm gonna take this um tab backing as well that has the kind of geometric pattern on there and because this this would look cool as just like a little background for something. Maybe I could cut it to a more perfect square. I don't know why I have all of a sudden this confidence in my cutting skills that I could do that. But we're going to we're going to go for it. Why not? A background for this die cut and make that kind of the cover. Make put a little more visual interest on this cover. On um, the cover of just this plain insert, uh marble uh thingy. And then do not want to put anything? I mean, I could put a quote here potentially or because I've got like this one has the vellum this one's already decorated and then this one has the acetate so it's just this cover that's like just the marble without anything to tie it to the kit so yeah it makes sense to, to decorate this one a little bit more so I like that as the front um so I could definitely use the quote back here but uh is there anything else I could use like because I don't necessarily just want to center it um and I think I could use it to cover up that um, the where it says punk planner, but I wish I had like another little thing that could just go right there. I mean, I could put more washi because this, um, the bow washi would look nice with the, just the marble behind it. So maybe I want to put this like here, do like a little bit more of this or 
Do you want to do it a different way? I mean, the only reason I want to put this here is because I do want to cover that logo. So, so let's put it like, eh. Yeah, we'll do it there. And then I could just put like a little bit as like this. Yeah, maybe I will just do that. There we go. I think I might leave that. I don't know. I might just, yeah, I might just leave that. Um, if I find something else to put in this corner in the future, like maybe I get um, a, another bow seal or like something um, or another like a little like initial or decal or something like that, I can put it in there. But at the moment, I think that's pretty good. Okay. And then where were we? Okay. So now that I've used up all my stuff, then I know that these are done so I can, I can squeeze these into the dashboard. Oh man, I did not do a good job cutting these papers. Oh no. How did I do such a bad job? I really would like to know. Okay, th these are so bad I have to fix them. They're not going to close, so. Okay, geez Louise, how am I so, how am I so bad at cutting? We, the world may never know. Okay, now it's time for some labels. So let's see what order I want to do them in. So I don't want to, so I don't want to use them on the same paper. So not there. So my, uh, my phone died. So yeah, I think, uh, all you missed was me putting on my tab. So I just went ahead and did that, um, off camera. I use the tabs from the kit, these gold foil, uh, tab labels, custom tab labels from my pretty week. And this, I fixed them with this skinny washi, uh, from archive stationery. It's just a white with a black polka dot. So I figured that was simple and, um, would just, you know, make it a little more, a little more understated. I was almost getting, you know, I know this is wild, but I was almost getting to the point where I was like, maybe it's too much foil. Um, can you even imagine? So I think we're pretty sorted. I do have these pom these giant palms. I accidentally got giant palms. I thought they were normal size and they are giant. So maybe I don't want to use both of them, but maybe one. This one's probably my favorite, the stripe one. So maybe just one little palm that I could keep in to mark my place somewhere. Maybe. Hmm. I will want to, I will be wanting to mark my place in this insert, um, in my gratitude insert. So maybe I'll just put this, um, this there, or is it not really good for that? I think this is more decorative. Um, I think to mark my place, maybe, maybe a wide clip is better because it can fit more pages. Like as I go through, um, you know, once I'm more toward the back of the insert, it'll still be able to hold my place. So I think a wide clip to hold my place in my gratitude insert. In this insert, um, yeah, I'll want to hold my place as well. But right now, I've just got the dangle clip doing that job. So once I get, once I start using this insert, maybe I will. Um, this is a daily journaling insert, so maybe I'll use a teardrop clip in there or something. Maybe I'll just throw one in now so I don't forget. Maybe I can just do that to mark my place. And then in, maybe I'll move it down there. Cause then it can stick out a little bit maybe. Yeah, we'll see if that works. This insert, I don't think I'll really need to keep my place. Ditto with this one. So these ones are ones I'm gonna be more like flipping through. So maybe I will just stick this, um, this palm in on this insert as just kind of a holder and I don't know if I'm only putting one palm where it should really go maybe more toward the side yeah that looks all right um does it look better with two no two looks weird because they are so big okay just for me personally for my personal taste it's too much um then I want to add this pen loop which is from the delightful unicorn so I'm just going to clip this to the last uh, dashboard here. And then I do have this pen that came with the kit, but it doesn't match the kit, which is bizarre. Like, why would you include a pen? 
I put it too far. There we go. Why would you include a pen that doesn't match? I really don't get it. Um, I want. I, I decided I would just kind of like stick it in and see if I could get away with it. I mean, I yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna move this down because it doesn't really go past the cap. So we'll move this down. Bear. It's fine. I mean, it'll do the job and the pen will work for writing in the inserts. So I guess we'll just use it, but it just seems kind of strange that it would have silver foil when the kit has gold. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Okay. And then I think it's just time for my charms and then the flip through. So I am going to put this charm from, um, just close it. This charm from Petite Pink Boutique, which I'm pretty sure is what that shop is called. I think I finally figured it out. Um, I'm going to put this on the spine and then the front charm is a bit more gaudy this time and this is from where is this from oh my goodness i can't remember anything is this from delightful unicorn as well i think it was from a shop i also got other stuff from so i think this was from delightful unicorn too although now that i have it on here it doesn't actually match that good because the pink is a bit different but it, i mean the pink matches like pinks that are inside of it but not necessarily the outside. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll leave it there for now. And if I hate it, maybe I'll save this for a different planner and, and get something else. But it's I don't hate it enough to like not use it for now. So that is the setup all done. So let me just do a flip through for you. So we have our Petite Pink Boutique uh, charm on the side there, which is absolutely lovely. And we have our B16 from the GP Studio August uh, sub box. We have our front charm that I'm pretty sure is from Delightful Unicorn. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Uh, and then on the inside here, we just have a little bit of that. I wonder if this, no, because that's right there. Just kidding. We have a little bit of a backing card just for a little more visual interest there. Um, and a, we have a quote card from the kit clipped in with a wide clip from Petite Pink Boutique. Then uh, we have our first Foxy Fix dashboard, which just has a paper from the kit with a die cut on it. The back of that has a quote card from the kit, the back of that paper, and a little bit of Simply Gilded white with champagne 10 millimeter washi, uh, bow washi there. And then we have our Punk Planner insert with the marble cover. We used a backing card and die cut to decorate that. We have our tabs uh, with our archive stationery washi and our My Pretty Week gold foil tab labels. And then another wide clip there. And then we have our Punk Planner Gratitude insert. On the back of that, I've just uh, put another quote card with another um, some more of that Simply Gilded Washi. And this is the other side of the Foxy Fix dashboard where we have a die cut from the kit, um, some paper, and three little gold foil heart stickers from JD's Crafts. Then we have the back of that paper and another die cut on the back of that dashboard. Then uh, around another punk planner marble in uh, marble covered insert, we have the vellum from the kit and a little dangle clip from Petite Pink Boutique. Then I'm using a um, raindrop uh, gold clip from uh, Punk Planner to mark my place there, and then the back of that uh, insert with the vellum uh, and the same the same tab situation. And on uh, this insert is just the notebook that came with the kit, same tab dealio, and this is just a dot grid. Then we have our palm from Planner Head. Is that what it's called? Planner Head, yeah. Um, clip up there. And then we have another Foxy Fix dashboard with a paper from the kit and a little die cut. Then we have a different paper to make the backing with two more die cuts uh, from the kit there. And then, uh, I might have to trim that paper again, but I'll do that another time. Uh, and then we have another Punk Planner marble insert with um, the acetate from the kit just clipped on there with another one of those wide clips. We have the same tab situation there. And then this is just a lined insert. And then we have the um, archive stationery gold foil washi uh, to reattach where we had... Uh, miscut the acetate there but I think it actually looks pretty cool and then another teardrop clip this uh insert or this dashboard rather has another paper from the kit as well as a quote card and then this is just some more of that simply gilded washi we have a pen loop from the delightful unicorn the pen that came with the gp sub box and then the back of that dashboard has another paper uh, and a die cut from the kit and then we've clipped on the sticky notes that came with the kit with another one of those wide clips to the back wonder if maybe this is where a bit of this um, 
Yeah, why not? I'm just going to stick that last bit. That was the biggest off cut of paper that I had. So I'm just going to stick that in there for a little more, a little more something, something back there. And that is my B6 setup all done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.